Hey, what up, YouTube? It's been a little bit. I this is what I've been working on. I'm, I do boom boxes on the side, and I've had a couple interests. And a customer wanted me to do something with. Well, as a matter of fact, it's the, the my friend, the court owner, he wanted me to do something with with this. And he said, "What if I give you the box?" I'm like, "Sure, well, you know, I'll." I'll, I'll see what I can do. Um, he gave me this, and looks looks in good appearance, shape. But what I don't like about it is that it's pine. Pine is not very very dense. Uh, it, it's going to resonate. So I this is what I already kind of uh, put these cutouts just to see where they're going to be positioned. Um, did the center holes here. I measured it from the side. It's about an inch and a half, an inch and an eighth up on both ends so that it's even and doesn't look all cockeyed, lopsided. This, um, these sides match down so that it, it's straight and it, I needed enough room to put, it's gonna be a brace in the inside like that. Brace is gonna go right here, just like so. And then these cross bracings here that I use the, my cheap Harbor Freight jigsaw to cut. So the tweeters are gonna be mounted here. The amp, I'm gonna use a router and flush cut all of this so that I probably go like an eighth of an inch. So I uh, have somewhere to put an ABS plate uh, and the only reason I'm doing it this way is since he wants to use the auxiliary from the 502C board. So this is the board I'm gonna use. This bad boy. It's good for, for the wattage that those have. I did make a review of this compared to the ZK1002 as a board. Uh, but this is gonna be good enough. So the idea is that it's gonna go right in there. The ABS crossing here, I'm gonna have to silicone seal it somehow and put another another uh, elevation here so that I, I could drill it down. It's gonna be either go this orientation or this one, but I'm thinking this would be best if I want to make it serviceable. Um, the hardest part from this entire thing probably I mean, besides painstakingly trying to figure out where the center of the hole is going to be, is making it, sealing it. Sealing it, I already put some tight bond three on here so I can, you know, so it holds stronger and then I'm going to seal it further. But this, you saw me slide this in and out, uh, that, I'm, it's going to have to be st just stationary. If I ever need to service it, I'm gonna to have to do it through the cutouts. Um, but warranty, I'm, I mean, how much warranty can I can I give? I, I, I don't have warranty for these boards. They come straight from China. So, you know, it is what it is. If it's uh, something that came loose that I can remedy easily, then I'll, I'll do that. And that's the kind of service that I'll give for anyone that purchases any of these boxes from me. If the board burns out, then they'll just need a replacement board, but I'll still have to go in and if anything, just remove all the silicone, probably with uh, some, with uh, a heat gun, which now that I think about it, I'll have to purchase a, night, a heat gun to melt the silicone and slide it out. So th this will be more of a, a high, uh, a high adhering glue gun, the sealant that I'll use, and this will be more tight bond and then um, after afterward on the side of the bracing I'll do I'll, I'll do some more sealing if, uh, if, if anything probably some more with that hot glue and, but we'll see this this is gonna be a little pain in the butt since I only have so much room on my router uh, but you know I got all the time in the world right sure it's a Sunday I don't know should be doing something else right quarantine so this is what I'm gonna do and yes you you can tell this this is my living room i should be doing it outside but i don't want to have to deal with cleaning it outside it's not going to make that big of a 
mess in here. It's, it shouldn't. Um, we'll, we'll see. Stay tuned. This is uh, going to be a, probably two weeks to complete, give or take. But I have more coming. I have more. These are two boards that I received. So we'll uh, we'll have to see what this is all about later on. And yes, I have uh, even more stuff right here. This is a box. It's all, this one and these are 2014. And I think I have a 2006 somewhere. Uh, this top one, which is my brother-in-law already called it. Since that's, I think that's a graduation year. So there it is. Here's my peanut. And let's get to cutting. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Like my some of my stuff if you wanna. If it, if, it, if, it, if you like it, if you like the content, I need a, I need a little bit of feedback to know what exactly everyone likes. Um, I do these boom boxes and I do some uh, audio troubleshooting. That's just what, uh, what what interests me, and I hope it interests you. So uh, stay tuned.